वी ऑल नो विच फेस्टिवल इज कमिंग नव इन अ फ्यू डेज नवरात्र इज कमिंग सो अ लिटल बिट अबाउट द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ नवरात्रि and why we are celebrating what we are celebrating when we say navaratri puja what is it that we are doing and what is the importance of navaratri before i start for the elders i just would like to say i am over simplifying it actually extremely over simplifying it for the children so the name navaratri itself suggests that this festival is for 9 days nava means 9 when does this festival come it comes during the autumn season sharat kala sharat rutu we say autumn season so there is a change of season many of our festivals if you observe they all come during important they are all beautifully timed change of season is there change of month is there so many factors are there so navaratri comes when the season changes it changes from the rainy season to the autumn season in autumn season nature is creating she is at her creative best why just now the rains are over so lots of water is there so if supposing you go to the forest area and all that you will find lots of fresh fresh green greenery will be there varieties of flowers will be there fruits will be there everything is created even animals you will find lots of butterflies birds crawlers insects they'll be making all noise if you go to the forest area why create so even it is even the breeding season for animals after the rainy season so autumn is a creative period who creates mother creates right we all who who, br- who brought us into this world mother brought us into this world therefore they see god can be worshiped as father father of the whole world or god can be worshiped also as the mother of the whole world but over here during navaratri not that we don't worship the other gods we worship all the gods but special importance is given to devi mother goddess why because she is the one who creates mother creates and now we know in the autumn season everything is creating mother nature is creating therefore it's so very beautifully it suits for us to see god as the mother so therefore we have devi puja during the navarath now i told you 9 days then after the 9 days comes vijaya dashmi so we'll see that also before the 9 days day 1 day 2 day 3 etc day 9 day 10 now before that comes the new moon day that's when the month changes Mom, the month changes during the amavasya day new moon day so this particular new moon day is called as mahalaya amavasya so we can consider it to be day zero in fact may in many tradition the devi puja starts on mahalaya itself so what does mahalaya amavasya mean we should know laya means to destroy maha when we add to anything it it means to completely and totally destroy everything what should i destroy i must destroy the ignorance that is there in me this i do not know i do not know is not a nice situation at all we want knowledge right when somebody asks us something i would like to know i don't want to go around saying i don't know this i don't know this i don't know this then people will say you are ignorant you have no knowledge so therefore amavasya stands for that amavasya is a dark day right can we see the moon on that day no we can't see the moon that day at all so therefore amavasya stands for i don't i do not know i don't have the knowledge and always knowledge we liken it to light light of knowledge so this i do not know is always compared to darkness so mahalaya amavasya means i want the ignorance that is there in me in sanskrit we will call it avidya no vidya this absence of knowledge i want it to go away completely for me from me that is when the puja starts actually on that day 
and on Mahalaya Amavasya day, if we go to Shringeri, where Goddess Sharada Devi is there, so beautifully they will give Abhisheka is performed to the deity. They decorate her very beautifully, and you know they keep a doll on her lap. You can see that picture also, a doll on her lap. Why? She is mother. What does the mother? What does the mother create? She created all of us. Little babies we were when she created us, right? When we were all delivered or when we were all born from the mother's womb, we were all little tiny babies in the lap of the mummy, in the lap of mother. Therefore, on that day, Goddess Sharada is so beautifully decked up and a small little doll is kept on her lap. What does the doll signify, mean or represent for us? It represents the whole universe. Who created the whole universe? Mother, Goddess created the whole universe. So not only the doll represents the whole universe, the doll represents we also. Mother, you created me. Mother Goddess. We all have a mother and a father at home. But the mother of all of us, the father of all of us is God. So therefore, I am also on your lap. Please look after me. That Alankara is done to her on Mahalaya Amavasya day. Then onwards we start. So what is the program? We want all our ignorance to go away, darkness to go away. That is the meaning of Ratri. Navaratri. All the nine days, hey Bhagavan, oh Lord or oh Mother, I am in darkness. Give me light. We are not talking about AM, PM. Sunrise, sunset, night has come. We are not talking that Ratri actually. It's all dark, dark, dark. I do not know anything at all. I don't have any knowledge at all. Therefore, to whom are we going for knowledge? To Mother Goddess. I already told you why we uh, worship God as Mother. And also Mother will never say no to any of us. Father can be little strict. Can you, <laughs> Daddy, will you please buy me this? He may say no. Then what do we do? Run to Mother, right? Mommy, please tell Daddy, no. Please tell daddy, no, I want this, I want this. I want him to take me there. He's saying no. You please tell him no. He will listen to you. So mother will be the mediator normally. And we all get all our things done through the mother. So therefore, we are worshipping her. Mother, you give me strength. You give me health. You give me knowledge. You give me everything. Whatever we want, we can ask of her and she will So that's how the puja starts. So, 3 plus 3 plus 3 days, 9 days we worship her. And in the sequence over there, it is not the same goddess we are worshipping. We worship her as Lakshmi, Saraswati and Durga. In what sequence? In different traditions, it is different. In different states, it is different. In Karnataka, first 3 days we worship Lakshmi. Next 3 days we worship Saraswati. Last 3 days we worship Durga. But in some other states, first three days, Durga is worshipped. Next three days, Lakshmi is worshipped. Last three days, Saraswati is worshipped. So we don't have to be worried about, you know, this sequence. After all, we are worshipping Mother Goddess. She has got everything with her. She will give everything to us. So not to worry about the sequence. Which Goddess is worshipped? When? They are all friendly with each other. They don't quarrel and fight with each other. Hmm? They worship me first. Here they worship me first. Nothing like that. So that we should know all these things. So therefore this is the sequence. So I am taking up one of the series. So first three days, whom do we worship? We worship Durga. Why? We want knowledge. When we want knowledge, first of all, our mind must be clean. So that the knowledge that the teacher is giving or God is giving can enter into If the vessel is not clean and the milkman comes and we want him to pour the milk into the vessel, he will say first clean the vessel and then bring it. Only then I can put the milk into it. So first it should be clean and it should be empty also, right? The vessel should be empty. But if we take an empty dirty vessel, then if we put the milk, it will go. It will become, it will get spoiled. So it should be empty and it should be clean. Therefore, first what should we do? We've got all negative, bad, 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 bad qualities in us. What to do we have then? Some of us have more, some of us have less. But we have. 
therefore what do we do we call mother durga into our life she's got so many hands in all the hands if you see she's got only weapons only weapons she's got with which she can kill somebody so we are calling her and saying mother all these bad qualities are there staying in my heart in my mind all of them are like rakshasas and uh, asuras in us powerful they are bad qualities are very powerful you please come and kill all these rakshasas means take away my bad qualities my negative qualities you please come and remove them one by one one by one one by one each one of these rakshasas needs one one different weapon to kill him therefore we are telling her come with all your weapons come well equipped bring everything with you so you will know this rakshasa need this weapon to get killed this rakshasa need some other weapon to get killed so therefore first three days whom do we invoke we invoke mother durga, durga. and it's not it's not very easy also one, from one standpoint very easy call her with love she'll come mummy please come she'll come running wherever she is so with all love and devotion when we call her she'll come but no devotion is there no faith is there very difficult for, for us to call her into our life that's the meaning of durga difficult so she can be difficult and she can be easy also for us to approach so first three days we are worshiping whom we are worshiping mother durga. durga so that she can come and kill all the rakshasas and asuras who are sitting in our mind all the bad qualities in us the negative qualities in us not one two three list is very big so finally one by one one by one one by one she will take out all the bad qualities in us now the vessel has become clean and empty now what should happen when the bad goes out the good must come in right before knowledge can come good qualities we should have in us discipline we should have in us so the next three days so one two three days three days over for durga worship next three days fourth day fifth day sixth day we worship goddess lakshmi who is she lakshmi's job is not only to give money lakshmi's job is to give all that we need in our life lakshanas her name lakshmi comes from that lakshanas mean good good ca- character it means characteristics it means qualities it means all the good qualities she will give. fill us up with them who which god is lakshmi. lakshmi and we know also know how she came out from where did goddess lakshmi come she came she comes from the milk ocean milk represents purity see from there she comes out so therefore she will come so therefore we pray to lakshmi goddess lakshmi the next three days and then ask her to give bless us with all good qualities so the bad has all gone out and what has come in now good. the good has come inside us good qualities should come inside us in fact in the 13th chapter of the bhagavad gita krishna calls good qualities itself as knowledge why if good qualities are not there in us knowledge will not come into us so he calls the good qualities itself as knowledge just as when we go to the railway station we will not say where is this train going to chennai standing on which platform is it standing we don't make that sentence too long we go there and say where is chennai chennai is not in bangalore right but we go to the railway station and say where is chennai airport where is amadabad where is calcutta means that vehicle in if we sit in that vehicle it will take us the aircraft will take us to whichever place or the train will take us so chennai is on platform 1 go to platform 1 chennai is not there but the train taking us to chennai is there so we have to get into the train there and then sit down there don't get down in the middle then it will take us to our destination so krishna calls good qualities itself as knowledge we all want knowledge 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 it won't come if you are not disciplined if you don't have good qualities it won't come so before saraswati is worshiped and we pray to her for knowledge who are we worshiping now we are worshiping lakshmi so fourth day fifth day sixth day we worship goddess lakshmi and ask her now to fill up our mind which is now clean and empty of all the bad qualities now all the good qualities must start coming into us lakshmi's job 
हाँ बिफोर दैट दुर्गाज वेहीकल ऑल दीज गॉड्स एंड गॉडेसेस हैव वेहीकल्स सो दुर्गाज वेहीकल इज सिम्हा so when she comes she comes riding on a simha what does simha represent simha represents dharma simha represents righteousness right path it is simha is the opposite of himsa himsa means violence put it ulta it becomes simha so she comes so though mother goddess durga is killing all the rakshasas and the asuras in us she is doing it for our good or for our bad Ah, uh, that is why that vehicle of hers is called as Simha, riding on Dharma, riding on righteousness. She comes and kills all the Rakshasas, destroys all the bad qualities in us. Then now Lakshmi. So the next three days, next three days we are worshiping Lakshmi. What are her, what are her vahanas? Elephant, and she's got Garuda also. both of them actually represent knowledge that is why ganesha has caught a elephant face elephant represents knowledge elephant is so vast big animal it is so our generosity our broad mindedness if our mind is so small and narrow minded knowledge won't go in good qualities won't go in why should i be good i don't want to be good i'm okay the way i am so if good qualities have to come into us little bit broad minded we should be also actually that's also a quality So elephant represents that Garuda flies very very high. We want knowledge, highest knowledge, not ordinary knowledge. For that, all the qualities which we need, she comes riding. So either she comes on the elephant or she comes on Garuda. When she comes on Garuda, she will always come along with, along with Narayan. So all the bad qualities have gone out. Now all the good qualities have come in. Now. Six days are over. Then the last three days, seventh day, eighth day, and the ninth day. Whom are we going to invoke now? Saraswati, Sharada, Sharada, Saraswati. Itself means giver of knowledge. So she is the goddess of knowledge. She is the goddess of wisdom. She is the goddess of intelligence. She is the god goddess of all art forms, also music, dance, etc., etc. All of them, all our knowledge only. so all of that if we pray to her she will give it to us who oh, saraswati so saraswati she has got in her hand so saraswati has a book in her hand a mala in her hand beads no all tied up lined up one after the other she has got a mala in her hand four hand she has got and in the other two hand she has got a veena in her hand so what does the mala represent it represents akshara mala a a i i u u k k g g all the alphabet english a b c d up to x y z so all the all the alphabets aksharas we call them in sanskrit they've all been let's say threaded uh, on a thread and who is holding this mala this garland of alphabets who is holding in her hand saraswati so therefore we pray to her then afterwards only the book before we enter into studies open a book and study we should know the alphabets we all start with a b c d right or a a e e so therefore first mother you give me the knowledge of the alphabets aksharas she will give it to us then i need knowledge that also she will give to us so that is why she is always shown to us or depicted to us as holding a mala in her hand and a book in her hand that is why on the 10th day after this after the 7th uh, day 8th day and the 9th day 10th day vijayadashmi day akshara abhyasa is done to children the starting of teaching them the alphabet the aksharas is done with the blessings of saraswati only it is possible so therefore aksharas also she will give to us knowledge also she will give to us we already have taken out all the bad in us and the good has already come into us we become a such a beautiful person everything is nice 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 about us so motives are good our thoughts are very very clean and good pure whatever we do also activities everything will become very very good that is the meaning of vijaya dashmi dashmi day jaya means victory when we add we to it vijaya means total victory 
so we want victory in our life we want success in our life we want fulfillment in our life we want achievement in our life it's not just mukti moksha and all that that is for all the other people there but for us our little little success we want the good results a prize a medal a trophy right these are all our little achievement this is victory for us this is success for us this is achievement for us all of that will come to us when we invoke all these three goddesses durga lakshmi and saraswati and if the blessings of all of them are there on us we become such a beautiful person god will function through us it's not we who are functioning you saying i don't know how i got that 98 i mummy i thought i'll get only 65 but i got 98 i do not know how it happened magic i do not know i thought the problem was very difficult but i do not know i was able to solve it i thought i won't be able to solve it when i read the question but it came why when all when the grace and blessings of all these goddesses are there with us saraswati will pick us up and keep her keep us on her lap what is there on saraswati's lap Veena. 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 What is there on Saraswati's lap? Veena. Veena. We all can become a Veena in her hands. See, such a good person we become, such good children, such good people, elder people, whoever it is, that she will feel like keeping us on our lap. Anyone who would like to have a bad child on their lap? No, no. So when we are good only, everybody will call us, and then if you are so good, they say, "Come, come, sit next to me. Come, sit on my lap." we deserve that when we are good but when we are bad nobody wants to even talk to us or even call us near them so when we are so good she will pick us up like a veena she will pick us up she will keep us on her lap and what will she do she will play she will play means she will make us do all the good things so like magic everything will happen the difficult question paper will become easy hmm? the competition which was very tough will become easy and you will all shine out because when she plays on the veena can r- wrong notes come no. can bad notes come no her music is divine saraswati playing on the veena so that's the meaning of that so all of us must become like a veena not to be sitting in a corner over there in the house with full of dust on it we should become like a veena in whose hand saraswati she picks up and sometimes you know she has to tighten the strings also she will straighten us also a little bit you no know? tighten the strings so that she can play on it she can play the veena at that point of time vijayadashmi will automatically happen to us total success achievement fulfillment in our life will come to us and that is denote that is denoted as the 10th day of the navaratri so how beautiful the significance is this navaratri we also call it as dashara not that dasara dashara dashara it is it comes from the sanskrit word dasha papa hara this is so beautiful the meaning is dasha papa hara dasha means what 10 papa means what Sin. the wrong things that we do hara means to take it away so dasha papa hara the the type of sins we may, you know commit the mistakes that we make in our life can be classified into 10 groups i am not going into the details of it so 10 types of mistakes we do when we pray to mother goddess to durga to lakshmi and to saraswati all the 10 types of mistake that we do in our life she will remove it from us she will take it away from us we say no please i have committed these sins mother please forgive me she will forgive us and once she forgive forgives us and takes us as her own child everything nice will happen to us like i said the bad qualities will all get eliminated from us eradicated from us all the good qualities will enter into us and then we become such a beautiful person such a beautiful person we say no, this person anything they do it comes out beautiful anything they do good nothing goes wrong with this person nothing will go wrong because god is keeping us in or mother goddess is keeping her as in her lap and using us playing on us using us to do good good things in our life this is in brief 
the significance and importance of Navaratri.